Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our final episode of the Hidden Nintendo for the PS5. My name is Flyers Bird, this is Storvius Gaming Channel, and today... Yeah, okay, I said the last one was the final one, so how is this one? Okay, we had six color choices at the beginning of the game. This is our sixth choice in color, so this has to be the end. And I really, really... You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. Really Textbook need display. to end this on the note that Move I need to end it on. By moving your pointer inside the box. And what is that? I need to end it on Felicity dying somehow. I mean, how can we have a playthrough of a super massive game where everyone doesn't die? Or at least, at least see everyone die in some way, some form. I mean, that wouldn't be the fight this bird thing to do to end it like we had it on the fifth run. So, thank you, Jonathan Jimbo, for suggesting ideas on how to make this all happen. I think I kind of know how to make it all happen based on the last playthrough, but he still suggested a couple new things here and there that we'll be checking out. So, without any further ado, let us do this, my dear friends. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Let us take the front door. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep the lights on. Please! Oh, we're gonna stick together? I like this color, it's pretty cool. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. I, I failed this one before. Let's let, let's pass it this time. Uh, let's stick together. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's stick together. Let's stick together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I love the movie Parent Trap. It was a really good movie. Don't know why that got into my head all of a sudden. onto the target think before you shoot you do not have to open fire ah that's all right i never do any thinking anyway hands behind your head no sudden moves oh my god whoa no. that's new i've never seen that before Oh, she is screwed. Uh, rescue the hostage? No, Did he just die? The hunt for the trapper what? came to a dramatic end tonight Did as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect. Did, Did he just Smith. die? Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city. And oh, has that never happened before? Police officers. More on the story. I mean, I'm pretty sure we shot him before on the first try, didn't we? Wait, did Tom just Ladies die? And gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that, there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he Wait, is punished. What? This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murders. I'm checking the biographies right now. He's trapping his victims, so our brave first responders became victims. Tom was Becky's partner in the third precinct. One he was electrocuted was in a freak Officer accident Nelson, during Finn's arrest. Who died what? He and his what? Were making the arrest that brought us here today. 
Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. Are you kidding me? I played through Why? this five times because and I've never seen that see scene? As a man. What? A fellow human being. But this is only another this one of the nuts. Trapper's clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind, and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Wait, she wants the death penalty now? What just happened? Jonathan Finn, the crimes for which <laughs> you have been on? found guilty, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Oh my goodness! How have we never seen this before? This is wild! Just like that one little change. Just, just changed everything. Oh, I wish the logbook button on your app. I wish I had done this in a previous one. Character biographies and just to see the, the differences in the story, but story. that is insane. So is Tom actually dead? Ray Weaver and this is the crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn. I mean, it looks like he's dead, right? has been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. The biography just says he was uh, electrocuted. I'm assuming. In my point of view, like, probably I died. This son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our Holy boys and blue. God. I hear you. But it ain't like our cops got It's like, what's gonna happen now? Because we know Tom can be replaced. Promotion to homicide. But does that mean. Works. Does that mean that other guy is um a uh, Riggs, right? Does that mean Riggs is uh in charge and then we have the uh the other partner because Tom is dead? It is just crazy. I'm already out to uh so a very interesting start. Good morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board. And I got to tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Yeah, it's Just definitely Marty the magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary, I'll pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. I I'm just, I'm just gobsmacked right now. I am like, what? What, what just happened? Hey. I love Tom. That guy's awesome. Don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs, yeah, eyes on you yeah. Tom is just kind of dead. Career. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously. You doing all right? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just like I, I don't even know what to think anymore. I'm, I'm actually a little bit uh, bitter to be honest because I like the dude. I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry bullshit blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Ah, uh, thanks, mom. Gee, thanks, mom. Detective Marnie. I don't have any recommendations on how to act to a partner, so I think I'm just gonna act like a jerk to a partner. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll be nice to uh, Felicity, but I'll be mean to a partner. I'm, and that's a good Morning. mix, right? I'm not supposed to comment on ongoing internal affairs investigation. It'd be really cool if we got to the end scene and my best the partner thought we were the killer inside it was Simon. Hey, don't like, that us. would be... You're a good cop. I, I, I do know... know you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intention. What Jonathan was saying is... Thank you for believing in me, sir. There's a possibility we could get like everyone killed. You know, sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things. Which would be awesome. You do. Granted. You got me. But if yes. we could get the yes. the guy to believe Simon that we're the that. killer, I think that would be I know also the set for execution in 48 hours. Very interesting. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row. So no either way, I'll be happy if I could get that far. That's the hard thing. I gotta get that far. Um. Oh, still blame myself for Tom. Oh my God. I'd put him there again. Only next time, I'd make sure he didn't take my partner with him. Officer Nelson's death was not in vain. 
His death was my fault. Aww. My mess. Maybe once the Trapper's pushing daisies, I can finally get a good night's sleep. Oh, that's heartbreaking. You will. God, I, I like Tom. Got Seriously. I think to see your client now. Tom Sorry, was amazing. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? Be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Uh, so if he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Ah, uh, I'm patient. Listen to me. I don't like you. I believe in my duty, and that is to listen to what you have to say. But that window is closing fast. So speak up. It was Adam. Adam? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. Skeptical. You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No. No. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. No. <laughs> he exists. Where is he? Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him. Spend a couple of months in the clink and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it. No. It is a kind of tragic story. What something. happened? I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still. Okay, started. it's not kind of tragic. It is a tragic story. Like. So where is he? No Adam. kid should no. go through that. No idea. How can we find him? That Gotta ticks me someplace. off. It really does. I don't like to see kids. Place. Where? Taking advantage of. I don't know if I said that already, but it it it's it hasn't changed. Uh, let's uh let's do relax. I want to see if I can mace him. <laughs> So it looks like that relaxed choice is what gives me this choice. Yeah, I'm gonna be a total jerk to this guy. Screw it. Stop. Finn, stay back. I just wanna talk. I wanna talk too. With my pepper spray. I'm pretty sure if you fail that QTE, you just get pulled out. Like, there's some things I don't really feel like exploring because it seems obvious on what's going to happen. I hope that makes sense. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas, same time as my client. But he died in the same fire that closed it for good. 
Ivana, your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not gonna happen. Ever. Jesus. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I've been better. Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. What would I call plot twist if, uh... It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All if Simon delaying the was actually working with the lawyer? Doubt Felicity. Not enough to overturn. Finn is not a good man. But if he dies, and you didn't do everything in your power to make sure he is the trapper, could you live with yourself? Absolutely. Definitely. Ah, fine. I'll take it. Uh, yeah. You're only right. because I need him take to be to Sandstone, see what happens. there. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. For no other reason. Trust me. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? So Jonathan pointed out that the, uh, story. The, uh, the facial recognition here of the judge is, um, I have doubts, is the same as Charles Lonnet from um, Devil in Me. An Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. I believe this game came Has out in 2017. He's been presumed dead for years. And That's Devil in Me, stretch, don't you think? You know, 2022. Well, even if Jones is relationship, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Um, I need to say optimistic, right? No way, it doesn't matter. There's no way to know unless we try, sir. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Here we go. This is well, the choice. If you were in my position, what would you do? I don't think I've ever chosen that second option either. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may And here's what the judge surprised me by saying no. Execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Okay, he didn't surprise me. That's good. I would have been uh would have been fight. Only for 3 hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Homicide Department. Okay, so we need a good relationship with uh, Felicity if we want to do everything that we want to do. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Ah, uh, screw you. I'm just doing my job. I kind of feel sad to do that, though, I considering. I try not to miss things that might be important. You know, know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not that, a punch of DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly? That we know he's going to die, right? Adam Jones. Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry, fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? Um, something there. I think, I think there's something there. Judge thinks so too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? I'd remember something like that. I didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I don't, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only you know, uh, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Not just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this guy out of his cell? Finn had pretty motive. bad. 
He went through hell at Las Palmas. That he, he wouldn't the finish the investigation just we because someone, hair at another crime scene. The RV you know, park, right? confessed. It was the social worker. But then and we know why he did Lenny, it. Would you mind still. walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Uh, screw you. I didn't ask for a running commentary, Calvary. I think the record is clear. Detective Marnie showed extreme bravery in a difficult situation. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear what happened from you. At least you were actually there. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. What should we do here? Should we, we save the girl or should we not save the girl? We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake. I don't know. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to go ahead and the trap do a random number generator of 1 to 2. Uh, one is going to be true. Next. We're going to save her. Two is going to be false. And you'll just have to take my word for it. And I'm going to press enter right now. And the answer is... Oh. I press enter to do the Google search, but I got to go to numbergenerator.org. So, it's a one. So, one is true, which means I guess we are going to save her. All right. Well, fair enough. I mean, technically, she dies anyway, right? Yeah. Oh. Ew. Was that going to make her look like a hero? Uh, I mean, it's uh, probably not. Although it would be interesting if, like, everyone she saved ended up dying. Hey, if this is the death playthrough, should we call this the death playthrough? I mean, I, it makes sense to call it the death the playthrough, right? At the top of the screen. Use your hey, if this is the death the playthrough, then the runs out. when I say Some one is true, you in the future. then the true so response is for us to make sure that we follow through with the death scenario. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to chill. I'm going to drink. Oh, I'm not going to drink. Um, I'm going to look for a water fountain. Where's a water fountain? Why is there not a water fountain here? Oh, there's a water fountain. Okay, I'm going to get a nice glass of water. Chill back here. Wait, was I supposed to be doing something? Uh, it can't be important. Don't worry about it. Just chill. Relax. I really, really like all the variations of the game. If there's one thing this game could do different, it's I really wish I had a scene select. That would make exploring options so much better. Because you literally have to play through over an hour to get to, you know, some of those really crucial decisions at the end. And it would have been nice if you could just load from Act 3 and just play Act 3 over and over and over again. Although I don't mind the story and I don't mind the gameplay at all and I think it's fascinating so I'm down for it. It's just one of those things I wish, you know, was... I just wish it was there. I woke up here. Oh god, please help me, please. Thankfully the game is only like an hour and a half. So it's not such a deal. Uh, LOZ. No! Oh god! No! No! <laughs> Does it mean it did? Did the camera linger just a little bit longer on her than it normally did? I feel like it did. That was just your way of like the game's way make you feel ultimately it wasn't the guilty. Thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, and then you got your partner yeah, killed. Good so job. Like you left his gear behind. Ah, you're still brave. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh... This color is really job. cool, by the way. And, um, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door. Hey, hair is, like, a really big when thing when it comes tip, to uh, that he'd been crimes. Squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him. 
Get like I was just ball. reading today about the uh, temper. the guy who killed Watch the out. the the guy who allegedly killed the four girls. I don't want to say he did because I don't know the full fact. Um, but allegedly killed the four girls and um. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude. They, is they said they may have found a hair. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was which my may case. have come from the and animal. My guy convicted. And that would point the, the guy to having been office. at the scene. I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? It's like one strain of hair the can. The case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt. Can really go far away in um. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? In uh. In um. One hair can go a long way in being the deciding factor of someone's guilty or not. Uh, there's been a lot of cases where, like, that little tiny piece of evidence has swung the case one way or another. Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. I like Riggs. Riggs is cool. Tom is cool too. I mean, both our authority figures are Hey Graves. Outstanding. Yeah, I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. You know, characters. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not going to be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. Okay, we have a positive relationship here. And maybe because Tom is dead and we have a like a new partner, quote, you know, new partner. Um, maybe we could really get him to not trust yep. us. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. Although the problem is if I fail the, press. the QTE Target of number one, Rupert Walsh. Being in the car. After he killed or him, if I'm not given the chance to escape that way, door, and the officer I may not be able to get back trust. there. Simple, but messy. Because our partner is not, not going to give us time. He's, he's not going to trust thunder. us. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas. Just a local gin hound. But I think Jonathan, Jonathan has an answer for that, too. Noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Uh, apologetic. Oh, I'm sorry. I. It's just this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up. I, I don't know. It's. It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged the light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two 
I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen and the real target was the third precinct? Uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. <laughs> you couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Uh, angry. All I ever wanted was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says that I misplaced evidence. Ouch. And now there's even a full-blown inquiry. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. <sighs> That's some hard luck, Becky. Hard luck. My father was a hero in the department. My first week on the beat. Hi, Chad. But he eats his gun. Kind of. It is tragic That's what happens to her dad. You haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke to half of these people. No, I'm sure that's not true, Becky. There's no use in denying it. I'm supposed to be crazy, right? Like father, like daughter. Becky, you're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, I wish I could believe that. Really love the interactions between. I mean, Lucy is great. Becky is great. The, the character writing is superb. This is one two five at the ten sixteen. Make an entry. One two five acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Really sad what happens to Calvary too. Really makes you think if this was a long game, like a five hour game, uh, you would have had more Calvary and his death would have been even more impactful. And you may have been able to shape the relationship between Calvary and Becky in a way that when he died, you could either be like, haha, he's dead versus, oh my God, I can't believe he just died, I'm sad because we've come a long way in bridging that relationship. But, I mean, in this oh game, you just God. feel like, good, he's dead, you know what I mean? Sir, can you hear me? What's going on? Oh, Becky, it's... What? It's not good. The victim. It's, uh... It's one of us. What? What happened? We're still sorting through the mess, but... A call came in, there was a body. A responder showed up. The body was raped. It looks just like a Traver murder. Um... No way. You don't mean that... I know. I don't know how. No. No, somebody has made a mistake. There's no way. Becky. I have to see. Stop. What? What? It's Calvary. No, that doesn't make sense. He doesn't answer calls. He's a detective. He was the call. Oh, my God. Yeesh. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From what we can piece together, it looks like Calvary was uh, indulging in some private hospitality. Hired hospitality? Yep. Track her down? Uh, just a manager's vague description, brunette, 20s. 
Great. Calvary's firearm was discharged, full clip. But the only blood in here is his own. And, uh, Officer Montesinos? The responder? Calvary's body was rigged with traps. <gasps> Fuck. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something I'm supposed to be here. Uh, what is it? Is it the light? I need some light shown on this event. No, not the light. You know, maybe I, maybe I should grab this. Just in case. That's all we need though. But still, just in case. Anything? Nothing useful. Becky, I tried to call you last night. Yeah? You didn't answer. I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? Ah, screw you. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not saying that. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. It's motive. Becky, we look for motive first thing we do. I just want to rule it out. Ah, uh, nope. I cannot believe that you would even think- I'm trying to help you. You know what, Carl? Go fuck yourself. So I think that would be the ultimate, like, failure. Yeah, I mean, getting- him killed along with our previous partner is it is tragic but having our partner kill us That's because he thinks one. we're the uh check the logbook fix yourself a drink because and he thinks the we're the um ready to the killer on. i think that's even more tragic <laughs> becky rest in fame but a partner was electrocuted Baker was promoted into homicide to Sergeant Riggs. Carl Carter became a new partner. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Felicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release into police custody. Like I said, either way, I'm going to be happy with this ending, providing I can get to that end spot. Felicity invited Becky to a home to review the case files. Becky and Felicity went over the files together. Becky told Felicity about her feud with Calvary. Becky disturbed a hidden camera at the crime scene. Because the number one thing I need to do is I need to, uh, Becky didn't provide an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. The number one thing I need to do is get, uh, Felicity into that house. I think the best way to do that is by going left. And uh, going to the uh, part two of hidden agenda. Uh, going to the uh, the wife of the grave digger, right? Uh, and being like not hostile to her because I think that was the best way to get information. Then we chase down Simon and we see his coat, and that hopefully leads us to his house. I think. I think I think I don't know exactly, hey, but Simon, I think. How are you holding on? Hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Uh, curious. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. I'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. 
We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Um, no, it's not going to work for me. Due respect, sir, but I don't think that going through files in a basement is the best use of my time right now. Detective Marnie, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who decides what's the best use of your time. Got it? Yes, sir. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember... Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. He's doing proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? Um. Uh. I think it was. I mean, anxious is honest, but I think restrained is probably the best. It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. I'll let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Do we have a problem? What? The fuck were you going on about this morning at the crime scene? Becky. Do you honestly think that I have something to do with this? Not now, okay? Uh, shh. annoyed. Yeah, I want to know why you don't trust me. Becky, hey, come on. Everyone knows about the bad blood between you and Calvary. You really got to cool it. Some of these guys think you're not all there. You could lose your job. So bad blood equals murder suspect. It's kind of a stretch. You had motive, Becky. I'm just doing my job. Uh, ooh. Threatening. Why do you keep pushing me? Leave it a rest. Hey! You keep pushing me and I'm gonna push back. You really wanna threaten your partner right now? Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Uh, left. Back to the beginning, the Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill, no apparent connection to Las Palmas, Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. All right, this time I need to do this a little bit better than previous. I mean, I've already seen what happens when you do the opposite choice, and it's bad. So let's, um, yeah. let's be Mr. honest Jensen, and respectful here. I'm going to be... Yeah, honest and respectful. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Um, yeah, I'm a detective. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at 2 in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? Uh, sympathetic. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if, um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. 
Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Good, good, good. I, I think we're, I think we're good so far. Okay, be on our toes. Be on our toes. Can't mess this up. We knows what happens if we uh if he goes away. We do not want to do that. Just calm, cool, and collective, but this bird. That was a little bit tricky. Okay, good, good, good. Hey! Hey! You wanna show yourself? Huh? What the hell do you want? Sucks that we are that close. That close to catching Simon. Because if we would have found out that was Simon. This is 609. In pursuit. Of an unknown suspect. That would have changed everything. Average height. Dark hoodie. Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? Yes, relaxed. It looks like Adam Jones may have actually worked for The Undertaker. Wow. As far as I can tell, it seems to be after he supposedly died in that fire. That's... that's huge. So he's real. There's more. Someone was on my tail. What? Are you okay? Yeah. But they bolted the second I made him. I mean, it could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. All right, like I said, I think so far this is going exactly the way I want it to go. I wonder if I'll say anything different since uh, our partner died. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Nope, well, doesn't I can't seem to be. My fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? Uh, Lucent. Here. Thanks. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. Let's go. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. Uh, do we want to find anything here? Probably just the, uh, the box. I don't think we need to find anything else. Yeah, I'm kind of do this on purpose. Because I don't want to find all the clues. I want to see if finding only the ones that seem to have some effect matter. What is all this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. It was a pretty good one, too. Traps, of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack. 
for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop had got so blasted he couldn't see a hole in the ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Trapper's first target, he beat his wife too. The Undertaker. Another drunk. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Um... Uh... Murder's murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And, you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops. Third precinct. And nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops? He knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed. Parents failed. System failed. What would you do? He took out the people who hurt us. Uh, let's see. Dismiss it. It's not for me to decide. That's what a jury's for. Yeah, so I hear. Who gave him the right? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. It don't matter much now. Once Adam got his man, he retired. And I'm about to pay the price. His man? Raminsky. His last victim. Okay, do you want to do... Ah, uh, let's do Troubled again. I like that response. That's not entirely true. Raminsky may not be his last victim. What? Detective Calvary was just taken out in a manner very similar to the Trapper's M.O. Cutting it close, my God. What? Nothing. I, uh... I guess he wasn't finished. Ah, shit. I need to take this. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Go. Hey. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. If he started killing again, he ain't gonna stop. Until he either gets caught or he gets what he wants. Well, let's hope it's the former. Then let me help you do it. Why? This... This is penance. Mm hmm Look, there's, uh... Something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself... Free of incarceration... He'd reach out. Immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. Ah, uh, this is Sandy. You gotta get your head examined. It's the only chance you got. And it's my only chance to do one good thing before it's all over. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732 receiving a request. Please stand by for confirmation. Angry. All right, shut up. I don't want to hear another goddamn word. You understand? Hey, hey, you're not going anywhere, cowboy. 
Or maybe it isn't. We definitely try to do everything to not give Becky? him good responses during hey, that. Time to so up. I hope that was sufficient to make him go against us, you know? Becky. Oh shit. We need help up here now. Because I'm not sure what else I could have done to be like mean to him after that. The notorious serial killer known as the Trapper has escaped from prison just days before he was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible for the deaths of numerous first responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous and any sighting should be immediately reported to the authorities. I want to know what happened. I want to know now. Um, defensive. You weren't in the room with him. He's a big guy. I doubt you could have done any better. And why didn't anyone see him leave? Don't put this on anyone else. Well, this is a goddamn mess, but we are going to stay focused and we are going to get this son of a bitch back in custody. Carl, what's the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help them. Anything they need. Becky, until we catch a break, I'm gonna need you work in the case files. Ah, oh, screw you. Sir, I think I could be a lot more effective out in the field. No, 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 not gonna happen. I can't have you fucking this up any more than you already have. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's how it is. So oh. oh my gosh. Well, that's different. What's going on with your partner? Whatever it is, it sucks. I can't believe she let this happen. I just, I don't know if I can trust her anymore. Man, that was just brutal. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Uh, let's go with Father Rominski. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. I think what I need to hear is uh, find the hidden room. Just, just to, uh, just to try to do our best to what? Wait, were we always photographed there? Have I missed that? Has that always been a thing? It's weird how I can play this game multiple times and don't recognize certain things. Maybe I didn't recognize it because, um... Because, uh... I just didn't pay any mind, but I know in, uh... I, I know there's pictures of Becky. Like, back at the other place. Really hope I have screwed this up. By coming here and said the other place. That'd be really, really lame. If that's true.
Should I just go ahead and find all the clues here? Just make sure. I mean, I probably could, right? I think I just need the panel. But yeah, I don't want to take that risk. Yeah, while this is playing out, I went into uh, part three of our playlist, the Ruthless Failure Run. And... I don't see a camera go off. Yeah, I don't see any cameras going off here. So what caused that to happen? And what the heck do we need to do to get to Simon's house? It's starting to tick me off. Oh, hello, ladies. It looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. I mean, did I have to go right in order to get to, uh, in order to go to Simon's? Because if so, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be really upset if that one scenario can only happen in one way. You know? What's the word of the orphanage? Anything? Um. I'll fill you in when I get to the station. Why can't you just tell me now? On my way to see Simon Hillary. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, alright? Oh, thank you, Lord. Shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. I was panicking here because looking at my first playthrough, I, I went left and then right, I think. And after going right, I went to here. I'm sorry to bother you at home. But I didn't watch back that playthrough until like just a second ago. I can't believe how close I was to the... I can't even say it yet. You now, I want to make sure I can investigate him. Just another split second. And so I definitely want to choose the choice that leads me to that result. So sympathetic. Don't dwell on it. You're alive. That's the important thing. Yes. Of course. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh. The Undertaker. Hooker, same thing. Night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's, it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I'm, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but the picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder? Maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? Suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire, worked for the Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. 
The widow even identified him from a picture. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. All right, well, let's go ahead and follow him. Yes, follow, absolutely. Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned I'm sorry up. that choice isn't timed, you know? It feels like that would be timed. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. Yeah, right, don't use your hands when you touch glass, my friends. You clean that really well. Not, not, not any glass on the floor. That was amazing. All right. I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother. Really. Oh. I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, he probably knew them. Thank you for your time. What's weird about that is he was with Simon's alter ego, let's call it. Um, so... That's not necessarily true that he knew him. I mean, it is true that he knew him, but it wasn't. <laughs> kind of gets confusing. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the widow's house? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. I just don't know when they matched him here. Or she didn't say like, you know, I need everyone to go arrest this guy now. I need a, a, what, an APB, ABB, whatever they call it, uh, put on this guy. I love how she leaves the computer on. It's almost like you're just waiting for him to like go into the office and see the picture and be like, oh, she's on to me. But again, why would you come back here? You know that Simon Hillary is more than what he says. Arrest the guy first and then investigate everything. It's okay, I still love the game. Don't worry. I, I know there's some holes in logic, but you know what? 8.23 p.m. It makes a good game, Revisiting so. the crime scene. Who cares? Of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Does a game always have to have, like, first. quote, unquote, perfect Not plot? Big of a place, but Can a game have plot holes have and you're still okay with it? Because something. if the plot holes weren't there, it would make for... Sort of like uh, if you ever watched the, the Flash uh, from the CW Flash. Uh, in that TV show, the Flash could solve every single problem instantly because he's the Flash. But he doesn't, which creates drama, which creates an interesting television show. Or at least, I like no. the first couple seasons. Um, Bloody mess. But I mean, he could literally solve any problem Marks instantly. Spread outward. You got Mr. Cole. He's got a cold gun. Yeah, well, Flash can run super fast. He's not going to get hit by a cold gun. Blast. He's just going to run up, hit the gun out of his hand. And, um... If you know, get the villain. Simon did know about the bomb. It's possible he could have avoided serious injury. But I still enjoy the show. Confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? This is a kind. That's kind of a problem with superhero shows. 
I mean, like, if you have Superman, why do you Son need anyone else? Bitch. Like, I mean, serious. Go watch uh, the Justice League gotcha. movie. With Superman, he, he's infinitely better than everyone else. But then again, you have those crazy uh, times in the, in the comics and in the movies where uh, Batman is shown to be, like, the best... Uh, the best character in terms of power levels um because there's that one movie i think it's the animated movie where batman basically takes out every single justice league member single-handedly a guy with no powers and he's able to stop everyone because he just knows everyone's weaknesses really really cool okay now this is just huh Okay, now who's this? Oh my god. That's... That's from the Widows. Dollars to Donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. Shit. <laughs> Wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. It still begs the question, though, if... But then again, I, as I think I theorized in a previous episode, um, Simon would know that Calvary's perverted and probably had a camera. So that's probably why he left and then came back. Contacts. Felicity. Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity. Hi, Becky. What's up? I love how quick she picked up, by the way. I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Like, no uh, ring at all. Are... Great. Just instantaneous. Mm. Boom. Mm. You know? <laughs> so creepy. He's even wearing that costume in this picture. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. I am ready to move on, my friends. Let's do this one more time. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I can do this. I, I don't mean one more time, hopefully. I mean one more time, hopefully I can do this. Yeah, I need to finish that sentence. A Felicity persuaded Judge Vance to release Ben into police custody. Ben took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. Becky is served a hidden camera at the crime scene. The camera contains secret footage of Calvary's murder. Becky threatened her partner for not trusting her. Mm. Ooh, uh, the Undertaker's widow said her husband regularly used prostitute. The chaplain used prostitute too. She decided to check with Simon Hillary. Becky had a good look at figure following her. Becky saw the same tracksuit in Simon Hillary's laundry room. Becky told Finn that Calvary was murdered and trapped. Becky discovered that Simon Hillary had been following her. They knew this background. She learned that he'd stolen his identity. By the way, I do want to thank some other people who have really helped make this playthrough enjoyable uh, by being a part of our community. Even if you don't come at all, I want to thank you. But uh, just, just saying, you know, uh, Cass Harris... Uh, I really appreciate you being here and a part of our community. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, S, uh, as well. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. And it's just a weird beep from a computer across the room. I, I don't know if you guys are there. Anyway, uh, Teflon for just being awesome. And uh, uh, he streams too, T-E-F-L-O-N. You may want to go check him out. He's pretty dang amazing as well. Uh, so thank you guys for everything and thank you to anyone who I did say thank you to um, uh, Don't be offended. Uh, I am I am a flightless bird. I have a bird brain. It doesn't always work. So, you know I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I really do appreciate you guys. You are truly the number one YouTube community and all of you too part three of hidden agenda Let's do this And if Moose Gaming ever gets around to watch this, hey Moose, don't forget to check him out. We did a co-op run of Devil in Me. 
He's a great, great, great guy and a wonderful content creator. The guy on that video in the hoodie, same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so that's Hooker. She's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are, are you saying our Simon is not the Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? A really good printout, but by the way. The timeline fits. She never even printed it out. The same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. But she has it. Adam supposedly died in the fire. Then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases. And that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. How is there not enough here for a warrant? No, no, no. He... He lied on his application. He's stolen someone's identity. Okay, so he's a fraud. We could get him kicked off the force, but we still can't prove that he's oh, a Oh, that's a good point. Shit. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target. The Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is, Simon... Maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or maybe there's just, maybe there's something we're missing. I just, I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. No, I'm not drinking. No one's ever safe in this town. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. It could be why Finn clammed up when he heard Calvary bit it. Because he knew it was Adam finally making good on his promise to get him out of jail. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. So you need to go. But there is another way. Yes, like, you need to go. He knows you. So you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well, Felicity, that's a little... Good, good, good. But we'd know for Ooh, sure. I was worried. I, I was really worried. And no, not reluctant. Absolutely not. Fuck it, let's get him. I was so worried that this wouldn't happen. So far, everything has worked... Okay, great. Perfectly. Temple bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. Bait's on the hook. Go fish. <sighs> What's gonna happen here, though? We did drink. Our phone's dead. Oh, we just go right to our car. But if we if we do this scene correctly, does Simon get there to attack Felicity? I don't know. I, I like have no idea. This is really hard though, I may fail this. See that? Oh, that was close. Hey, this is. I mean, I don't know if this is death bomb because I don't know how it's gonna pan out, but the church dying just makes sense, right? 
Pussy graves. All right, we are there. Oh, good. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I believe there is a way I can escape from the feds, but it requires a QTE, which I've been told. And I don't know where that QTE is. And if that QTE comes as fast as those two QTEs, there's a chance I can fail it, which means Becky gets shot and she dies. And if that happens, then everything I work towards is instantly out the window. So I'd much rather do two fast QTEs I know than the alternative. If that makes sense to you all. You know what would be cool if they were playing until dawn upstairs? <laughs> that would be amazing. I know Until Dawn is a video game, but you could have made it into a movie. Like, who cares? This is 609. I need a trace on license number 2018116. License 2018116 returns clear and is registered to a vehicle belonging to Simon Hillary. Son of a bitch. I need backup now. In pursuit of the trapper, I repeat, I need immediate backup. But are we going to get the Felicity scene when she goes downstairs? I'm kind of worried now. Shit. I am a little bit worried. Because someone comes home, but we're chasing the trapper. So how does that work? Although he does beat us here, right? Because in the previous scene, we get to him, you know, as he's starting to douse. Everything on fire. Or in gasoline, sorry. Shit. But there is still um Finn here. Cause we assume Finn is here, right? Cause he, hopefully he's not on our side. I mean I did everything to try to make sure he wasn't on our side. Uh, hello? He is here. Can we find clues? Absolutely. Why not? It takes time. I see no reason not to. But if we hide, won't we run into Finn? Wouldn't it be better to hide instead of fleeing? I have no idea what to do here. doesn't matter he comes up on us we never had a chance to flee he just choked us out we wouldn't have a chance to do anything there maybe if you don't find the clues you have the chance to escape um oh this is a tough choice uh let's see call our partner What? Simon Hillary is the trapper. EMG? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm headed 
headed to his house. Becky, I'm on my way. Be careful, okay? Just hurry. Because if I don't call him, he's in there with him. I have a feeling he wouldn't show up. And I want him to show up. Because that's when the fireworks start. <laughs> Alright, nice and easy. Uh threatening, absolutely. Screw you. You have no idea how much trouble you're in. Okay, the police know I'm here. They're probably outside getting ready to arrest. Are they gonna slap a woman who's tied up? Oh, shut up. Wow. I didn't lie to you, you know. Adam did promise me he'd get me off. He was just waiting for the right moment. Yeah, like when you're dead? Now Detective Marnie's gonna take the fall. Or is this gonna suffocate her? Really? Wow, he is. That's just brutal right there. Flat out murdered her. Okay, she did not have the bloodiest, violentest death in supermassive history, but still, that is just messed up. Because Vin is just watching. Remember what I talked about before? How he's like an accomplice to murder? Well, there. Wait, she's still alive? Wait, she's still alive? How is she still alive? I thought he suffocated her. I'm so confused right now. It's like the two seats don't agree with each other. Oh yeah, I tried checking the biography. It doesn't say that she died. But still, that's <laughs> really weird. She suffocates him. And then after suffocating him, she just... Like, comes back to life? This is Officer 609. Simon is the trapper. I repeat, Simon Hillary is the trapper. I'm at his house. Heading in. Okay, here I don't intend on... I intend on trying the same choice set before, except if... Oh, this is different though. Felicity is here. Oh, that's Freeze. Finn. Don't move! Don't move. Huh. You got me. I'm if I fail this. Um, uh, persuasive. Simon. You've gotten what you want, haven't you? You don't know what I want. You want revenge on the people who hurt you. And Johnny? He was never supposed to go down for this. No. You weren't. Drop the knife. Just come in. Confess and it will all be over. You got what you wanted. No, Detective Marnie. What we wanted was the future. We never had one. And thanks to you, we never will. Okay, no QTE there. Oh wait, Finn so it what wait what? Alright, well Finn's dead. But now how is this going to change things? I'm almost positive. Finn would have shot us straight up. Well, Felicity hasn't died yet. Freeze! We need Felicity to die. Wait, wait, wait. Don't shoot. That crazy bitch is trying to kill me. Simon, on your knees now. Please, please arrest her. She's crazy. It's Simon. He's a liar. He's the trapper. He was going to kill me. Oh, she's here to vouch All for right, us. On the floor. Interesting. <laughs> There's someone not going to take the shot. Drop the gun. Drop it. <laughs> no, look out. Oh.
Oh my god. She survives? Oh. Well, that's one way to go out. I thought she was gonna get suffocated, but no, that was, that was crazy. That was a wild shootout. And now she's gonna be coming here and all the pops are gonna be outside thinking she did it. Ah, oh, what an ending. Okay, I didn't get everyone killed. Sorry, but it was still, it was still very interesting. We got Finn killed, right? Thank you to Felicity about a few with Calvary. Later, Felicity met her at the bar to discuss the case. I mean, I either get Finn killed or she died. Becky told Finn that Calvary was murdered and trapped. Finn found Adam and joined up with him. Becky lured Simon to the bar so Felicity could break into his home. Felicity found evidence that Simon is the trapper. I mean, yeah, I mean, that that's, that's like the truth of it all is I could have had Becky die. And Felicity probably would have died. But then Finn wouldn't have died. Have we had a playthrough yet where Finn died? I, I can't think of one. I mean, technically he got executed in one of the runs, right? But for the most part, he never actually dies in the game. So, I mean, that was something new. It wasn't what I expected. But it was something new. I wonder if we're going to get thrown under the bus Detective here. Detective Becky Marney has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, was being considered a suspect and has now been shot and killed by law enforcement at his residence in the South Bank neighborhood. Also killed was District Attorney Felicity Graves, prosecutor of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Miss Graves was found dead at the scene. Detective Carl Carter, Becky Marnie's partner, was also killed. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. The police are treating these reports as nothing more than a vicious smear. There are still a number of conflicting reports regarding today's escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Jonathan Finn's body was also found at the scene. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the Trapper's killing spree is finally over. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago. That was it? That, 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 that was it? Okay. So, um, here's what I'm going to do. I am going... I, I know this sounds weird. Trust me. I know this sounds really, really weird. But hear me out. I am going to call this the Kate Run. Now, you may say, why the Kate Run? You would have no idea if you didn't watch all the way up into this point. Because you saw the title. And the title is going to say Kate Run. And you're going to be like, why is this the Kate Run? Here's why. Because after this event, Detective Marnie had such a traumatic experience that she left the police force and she created a new life. And she dyed her hair um, and basically became an investigative journalist, no longer working for the detective agency. And Kate, with this tragic past of having everyone around her die, is going to join, uh, is going to join the, uh, the Lonnet Entertainment business. And she is going to become a character in The Devil in Me. That's it. I'm going to call it the Kate run. I know. I know. There's a little bit of fan fiction here. And some of you guys are like, oh, I swear that's the dumbest thing ever. I, I know. But I I like it. Okay. I, I think it's, um, I, I think it's cool. Because here's the thing. Her name is, uh, her actress's name is Katie Cassidy. You see? So there's another link. Katie Cassidy becomes Kate. 
Exactly. I know they're not the same person. I know, I know. I know I'm just having some fun here, but at the same time, at the same time, it would be a really cool, like, parallel between this game and The Devil in Me. To think that, um, to, to, to think that, that, uh, the trauma that she experienced was actually this trauma. And she made up that other bit of trauma about being the survivor. She wasn't a survivor of the previous thing. She was a survivor of this game, of this incident, of two partners dying, her friend, the DA dying, um, having murdered uh, two people. Well, not murdered, but killed. I mean, eh, whatever. Uh, killed uh, two uh, murderers or would-be murderers. I, I think it works. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> I'm going to let this roll and uh, I'll see you guys in a second to see if there's a post credit scene. Clear skies. Oh, it was a little bit different from our normal, like, little flash there, but no post credit scene. That's unfortunate. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who's been a part of this journey and everyone who watched all six runs. Because, I mean, that literally was six runs. It was amazing. I've had so much fun and I saw so many different things. And I am just so thankful for all of you who, the number one YouTube community, all YouTube, you guys are just absolutely incredible. I also want to give a thank you since this is our last episode. I know I keep doing this over and over and over again, but really, 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 this is our last episode. Uh, I want to thank uh, Techno Trouble and Chinik UT, our wonderful, amazing Patreons. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, link is in the description below. And uh, what's next? Next is Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I hope to be playing it using an actual Wii controller emulated on the PC. So that'll be interesting. And um, in our visual novel slot, we have uh, the new Ace Attorney, well, not the new, but Ace Attorney Investigations 2, uh, the sequel, which is being played on the 3DS, which is also interesting because I've never played a 3DS game before on the channel or a DS game. Yeah, I think it's a DS, but anyway. Uh, and uh, it's also a fan translate game. It's our first game that we're playing that's fan translated. Although we have played a game before that was um, fan made. So breaking some barriers in the next uh, two playthroughs. And of course, our RPG channel, we're playing Valkyrie Profile Leneth, which is amazing. I'm really loving Valkyrie Profile Leneth. We also have a poll running on which games we should play next. Uh, the winner of the first poll was Earthbound. And it looks like the one of the second poll is going to be Parasite, even unless that changes. I'm probably going to close that poll today. So when you're watching this, it's probably closed. But I will have a new poll out uh, putting putting Earthbound against Parasite Eve. And uh, it'll be interesting to see which one of those two win. Uh, regardless which ones win, I'll probably play both. I, I definitely can play both. That's not a problem. I'm definitely going to play both. Uh, as well as games like Legend Dragoon. Um, and the, uh, the other games that did well, you know, in the other poll, uh, the Mother Trilogy, Lunar, heck, I'll even play Breath of Fire 4 sometime, uh, Shadow Hearts 3 and Legend of the Guy 2, even though they didn't get as many votes, I, I definitely want to play all of those. Uh, so anyway, I love you all so very much, and until next time, hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day, and before I leave, if you're wondering about Choice Space Adventures, uh, sometime after Silent Hill and after maybe Space Quest, I do plan on playing As Dusk Falls. So that's going to come eventually too. So we'll have another Choice Space game in the near future. You know, just give me time. That's all I ever ask of you guys. Just give me time and we'll be playing great games together. So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.